Hello and welcome to today's lesson on resistance and length of wire required practical which is part of the electricity topic in GCSE combined science. So in this particular lesson we're going to look at finding the link between resistance and the length of a wire. So if we've been successful and learned in today's lesson we can state the link between the resistance and the length of wire. We can describe the link between the resistance and the length of wire and finally we can carry out an experimental investigation to find the link between resistance and the length of wire, which is part of the GCSE combined science specification as it's required practical 15. So what do we know about the resistance and length of a wire? Well, the longer the wire, the higher the electrical resistance in the wire. So why does a long wire equal high resistance and a short wire equal low resistance? Well, it's because resistance is caused between the flowing electrons in the wire and the metal ions in the wire. Now, the longer the wire, the more metal ions there are for the electrons to travel past as there's a greater distance for the electrons to travel. This means there's more collisions with the ions and therefore more resistance. But remember, for this to be true, the temperature of the wire has to remain constant. So remember, resistance is due to the fact that the metal wire also has metal ions in the wire as well as flowing electrons. And the resistance is caused by the collisions between the electrons flowing and the metal ions of the wire. So the electrons collide with the metal ions of the wire and the electrons slow down. This low is the current and this is resistance. Now the greater the electrons slow down, the more resistance in the wire. And there are many ways to do this, such as increasing the number of metal ions, making the metal ions vibrate more, or decreasing the space between those metal ions. Now all of these factors increase the number of collisions between the flowing electrons and the metal ions. Now increasing the length of the wire increases the number of metal ions the electrons encounter, so therefore increases the resistance. So in our our investigation today we're going to look at finding the relationship between the length of the wire and the resistance produced in that wire and as a result you would need a multimeter a ruler with a wire attached crocodile clips and wires which are shown in the following picture now what you will need to do is get a wire which is taped onto a one meter ruler a multimeter and a crocodile clips uh, set now you then need to get the nichrome wire now nichrome is a nickel chromium alloy and you would get a meter ruler what you would then do is you will measure our 1.10 meters of nichrome wire onto the ruler. There needs to be slightly more than one meter as the one meter is the maximum value we're going to record in this investigation. Now remember, when you are putting your wire onto your ruler, you ensure the wire is pulled straight and there are no kinks in the wire. You would then get a roll of sellotape and you would stick down the end of the wire to the ruler. But remember not to stick it down at zero or five centimeters as those are measurements we are going to take you then stick the other end of the ruler down and remember you wouldn't stick it at 95 or 100 centimeters as those are the values we are going to measure now you would then cut the wire uh, with scissors to ensure it's the length of the ruler now what you would then do is stick down the wire in two further places to ensure that it's going to be static in your investigation but it mustn't be on a value that you're going to measure now you would then retrieve a multimeter now a multimeter is a digital device which can measure many different quantities and then this in this investigation we're going to measure the value of resistance. Now you'd attach a crocodile clip to the end of one of the wires. Now the crocodile clip must be securely on the wires and you'd attach the wires to the bottom two holes of the multimeters in a secure fashion. You then set your multimeter to 200 ohms. Now when can, not connected to the wire there's going to be a large amount of resistance because there's not many electrons flowing so that's represented with a one on the device. Now at this point it's going to measure the resistance going through the wire. Now what you then do is attach one wire to the nichrome wire at the zero centimeter marker of the ruler. Now don't move the multimeter when you do this as it can affect the result. You would then attach the other wire to the nichrome wire at five centimeters and measure the resistance. Now ensure the clips are not touching as it would create a short circuit and don't move the multimeter as this can affect your result. You then move the five centimeter clip to 10 centimeters and measure the resistance there. Now once again, please ensure you do not 
not move the multimeter as you do this as this can affect your results and you repeat this for up to every five centimeters up to a hundred centimeters and carry out the investigation two times for each value two times more for each value and that allows you to calculate an average resistance for your wire so remember you should find that when the length of the wire increases the resistance of the wire should also increase and you can see that with the following set of sample results that when the length of wire increases the resistance of the wire increases as well and this gives us a graph of the following now in theory the line should fit uh, through the line through, through, through the origins the line at best fit should be a straight line through the origin the reason for this is that the resistance of the wire and the length of wire are directly proportional but like in this case if the line of origin does not pass through the origin then there's a systematic error in the investigation now because your line of best fit does not pass through the origin well this could be due to the fact that there's resistance found in the electrical connections or in the voltmeter or the multimeter in this case it could be because the length of wire being measured is incorrect due to the first clip not being exactly zero centimeters and so all the values are off by the same amount so what should we've looked at in today's lesson we should be able to set up and check appropriate circuits to investigate the following factors affecting the resistance of electrical circuits the length of a wire at constant temperature and if you've been successful and learnt in today's lesson you should be able to state the link between resistance and the length of a wire describe the link between resistance and length of wire and finally carry out an investigation to find the link between resistance and the length of wire so i hope you've enjoyed this lesson where we've looked at the resistance and the length of wire required practical in gcse combined science electricity thank you very much for watching this video and have a lovely day